Hey, hey commanders, welcome to another episode. Today we are going to do six minutes. We have to complete a repair of the shelter mission in the 23 plus zone. Repair the shelter is a mix of mobility and static defense. So what I mean by that is <clears throat> you have a place to defend. You also have to run around and find things. So it's like rescue the survivors meets uh, um, ride the lightning. So we have one right here that qualifies. And because we have to run around, I'm going to use a, a uh, ninja loadout so that we get more mobility. Because it really does, how fast you gather the pieces to the shelter really matters. So uh, The other option is to do it with a constructor and count on defense, but you still have to find the pieces. So, And you can use your hoverboard for that. I just uh, I prefer the mobility offered by a ninja. And we'll see how it works out pretty quick here. Whether this uh, succeeds or fails, you will see it. <clears throat> All right. So how this works is um, there's a survivor shelter that is in tough shape and we have to go fix it. So that more survivors can stay there and so we're going to drop in find the shelter and uh power it up while building defenses and then we have a short amount of time to run around and find uh, the pieces that are hiding from us <laughs> so basically pieces um they're they're like uh med bots and they're invisible until you get too close to them or until cbot sees them which is another piece you can do. It's quite complex. I'll show you as we go through it. It's not that complex. It's just complex to describe because there are a lot of moving parts. But our first goal is to find the shelter and power it up. See the latest trend in survivor search and rescue. This far out in the storm, handmade shelters just won't cut it. That's where survivor shelters come in. We deploy the shelters to high danger storm systems. Survivors activate the shelter and wait for rescue. Unfortunately, they're easy to damage when the shield isn't in use. We'll need to go repair a survivor shelter. We need to get these shelters re-established so we can rescue as many survivors as possible. I've marked the locations of the shelter on your map. Oh, there it is. Okay. Head over to the shelter so we can see what's happened. Notice I'm grabbing stuff as I run. I mean, <laughs> if it's going to give me stacks of Sorry. stuff, I'm going to gather it. Uh -uh. All right. Now let's head to the shelter. We do not want to unnecessarily fight that. Uh, um, yeah, that. That encampment. So we're going to skip it. And. We're getting there. Well, we are going to need Blue Glow before this is over, so as long as it's right here, let's grab it. Alright. Wow. That's a long way off. But we're getting there. Alright. Boom. There's a shelter. Alright. So this is our shelter. Good. First thing we're going to want to do is get rid of this. Use the terminal to run to see what's wrong. And his partners, wherever they are, there they are. Oh, one more. There we go. What were you guarding, dude? Nothing? I don't believe that. I was hoping to find blue glow, but I didn't. Alright. We need to clear all this gunk out so we got a nice open area for our shelter. Now notice it says run diagnostics. You want to build a little bit of defense before you run diagnostics, because once you run them, a timer starts. 
Let's look in here. Ah. Perfect. Nice. Alright. Couple more things here. Just making sure we got a nice clear area. Alright. So this having no modifiers, I'm going to build in brick, which might be a mistake. We'll find out. right in our path. That's how it always works. Random. <laughs> Alright. Dude. Die. Eliminated. At least it didn't generate any inside this time. It usually does. Because, well, stupid. Alright. Yeah, I did that. You need Mantis Loop to get leap to get away with that, but you can do that. Alright, and I think we are going to do I'm gonna surround the outside with uh sealing electric fields. Why you ask? Well, because this thing's gotta live. <coughs> through several attacks and we may be out collecting stuff when the attacks come <clears throat> so we got to give it some decent coverage here you know like a sniper on the roof and upgraded ceiling fields and upgraded walls all right nope. trying to go as fast as I can here because this is already gonna be a long mission all right. now ceiling oh we only have one so let's make some more two you know we'll use them let's make 20 all right. There we go. Alright, so that's going to hurt anybody that shows up here. A lot. Uh, do one more upgrade here. Now one of these has to have a door in it. So what we do is try to guess where they're least likely to come from. Put a door there. And then stairs this way to protect the door. Because the door is a little bit weaker than normal. Alright. And the console is over here. There we go. All right, now it's powering up. The shelter has been damaged pretty severely. Looks like the life support modules have all been stolen. These modules inflate and shield the shelter. The modules have to be around here somewhere. Search the zone and return the missing parts. 
Survivor shelters are built by a fleet of construction bots. If the bots are attacked, they enter stealth mode and power down. To repair the shelter, we'll need to reactivate all of the construction bots. Unfortunately, their stealth mode is really effective. You're gonna need some help finding those missing construction bots. Let me see if I can send some help. It might take a few minutes. There's an incoming wave detected. We have some time before they arrive. You can search for missing parts now or reinforce the shelter. All right, so see that smudge right there? Check this out. Boom. That's the missing parts. There's another one right there. So you want to get good at spotting that translucent smudge. The module will now be installed. I don't see any here. But there's this one. Each part will take a minute to install. So eight modules. One minute per module. Pretty a lot of bullets. So that's pretty good stuff. That's pretty quick to get to. It won't be that easy going through. Guaranteed. There's one. Wow. We're getting lucky here. We should grab Seabot because while wow, three is astound without one is astounding. I mean that's a great haul early on. That's four. Wow, we're halfway done. I haven't even activated a Seabot, but I want to show you guys the Seabot. So. Yeah, I see you did. New module installation has begun. Got it. Got it. Ammo. And now. Can't complain about that. Where's Seabot? Dude. Okay, Seabot's a little harder. Yeah, I'm watching for the Taker. And I'm killing the Taker. Alright. Where's. Not this time. Seabot, dude. Wow. Oh! Holy cow. That's number five. Well, we're halfway done, and we still got six and a half minutes to the next raid, and we've got a Seabot to activate. Hi. Dude. Um. Yeah, we'll do it for now. Holy cow, there's two. Huh. We're gonna finish this in one run. Oh, man. Because Seabot will show us two. And we only need one. Wow. That's pretty sweet. Alright, well, if we can... Well, I want to show you guys Seabot. I really do. Because most of the time, you're going to need Seabot. We got really lucky here. Okay, so. For Seabot. There he is. Now, what you have to do is build around him and protect him while he scans. Not true. Lies. The missing construction bots. Protect Seabot while he scans the area. Okay, so what I like to do is, ready is to be activated. that. Now they're not going to be able to attack from that direction. A module has been installed. The shelter is now stronger. Wow. Scan away, Seabot. Where are the attackers here? I don't see them. There they are. All right, so Seabot is scanning, and you just have to keep them from bashing through. Holy cow, there's our last one. We are done. All right, I'm not going to collect it until Seabot's done. So you get it? Is Seabot scanning? No. There we go. Quiet, please. I am seeing. All right, Seabot is now scanning, and they're going to come running. So what I like to do is that. The module has been installed. The shelter is now stronger. 
So we're going to be done either way because that's the last one we need. New module inflation but this is what defending Seabot is. Once you start in, they spawn right nearby and start. It's kind of like a rescue. Like you're saving a survivor that's on a car. Very similar. They're going to come rushing from nearby and try to attack. And you just have to stop. And it really is that easy. I mean, they come in huge hordes at higher levels, but right now it really is that easy. Alright, Seabot's done. <laughs> that does it. Alright. So now... We can go improve those defenses. New module installation has begun. Because these bad boys are coming. All modules have been located. After all parts have been installed, the shelter will attempt to power back up. When this happens, expect a big fight. The enemy will come from all directions. The power-up process takes four minutes. Come on. What are you doing? There we go. What we're going to do is send them packing. 26 isn't great, but it's higher than the PL of this. There we go. What we're going to want to do. I did say they can come from every direction, so... We're going to want to do the same thing here with a couple. And this is too wide. There we go. All I was doing there was blocking it off. So I only had to do one side. Because after all, you are using resources to make these traps. So you don't want to get too crazy. And then if anybody jumps under here to try and knock it about, we can do that. And if there's a wall launcher that is not, we'll have to make one. Basically, a wall launcher just exists to keep them off this. Oh, we don't have wall launchers. Why wouldn't have gone so crazy put them up there? The shelter is now stronger. But I know that. Alright. New module installation has begun. The one Hopefully thing. The plans have changed. They seem to know the final part is being installed. They must be preparing for a larger attack. Get it ready. We want some defense against. Installation resuming. Any huskies that get through with a uh, propane. So we're gonna put one on each of the open corners, and then we're gonna put some. Uh, Defenders down. Oh, I have ten of those? Holy cow, we'll put one on a closed corner too. I call this a closed corner because they're less likely to come this way. Alright, now. I want Defender over here. Here they come! Yeah, I hear you. I'm working on it. And this one will give an air. Well, there we go. We'll put one over here. The shotgun.
Yep, got it. There we go. So when that happens, then you do this. Yeah. <clears throat> Nobody's getting here yet. Which is good. They will eventually. But so far, two minutes left. Oh, where'd that come from? I'm gonna gather some uh, stuff here. No sense leaving it laying around. Whoa, dude. I can come help. Oh, dude. No, 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 no. Gunner, Sorry. you paid for yourself right there. 60 seconds until shelter online. 60 seconds, alright, well it's 60 seconds until I can use a cover turret again. That's hilarious. seconds left. Fourteen. If you can get lucky and get all of those in the first run, I've had ones where I didn't find any in the first run. And they destroyed all my sea boxes. So this is great. I mean <laughs> showing you guys. Well I'm showing you a perfect run. Don't expect yours to go this easy. Look at that. We are done. Alrighty then, so that <laughs> worked out really well. Uh, you got to see a sea bot. You got to um, see what they look like. The translucent haze that they create, so you can identify them when you're just running around. If you have a full team, you don't really need sea bot because you can run around all over the map and find them. But uh, if you're running short of a full team, it's easiest to have someone defend and have someone else run around and uh, do sea bot and look for the translucent marker, translucent markers. All right, so that's uh, pretty much it for that one. Moving right along, and I'm not sure what's up next. We'll have to look when we get back, which should be any second here. <clears throat> and a tag and a recovery from that pneumonia. Um, still a little bit uh, in the throat, but that's about it. A little bit short of oxygen, but uh, doing okay. As long as I don't push it too hard. I'm gonna, it's going to be a long road of uh, working out to get my uh, lung function back up, but I'm working on it. We've been working hard on our marketing plan for the shelter rollout. I think we've nailed the creative. The high level we're going with is, wow, I'm inside. Maybe just radio broadcasts. Right. We have just so let's go if we can fight. take a look at what's next. All right, to destroy the encampment's mission at 23 plus. That'll be easy, so... Right. I tried everything I could, but uh -huh. it just wasn't improving. But then I thought, hey, this is a lightning-rich environment. Maybe I can Frankenstein my way out of this problem. 
So, <laughs> I did that. Search for the weatherman. Alright. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, thank you. If you got anything out of this, please like and subscribe and share it on social media. Let people know. Um, and we will uh, do Lightning Rich Environment next. Mr. Mean Raindrop. Gone.